everyone. This is the 25th of June 2019 and I'm out here in Little Falls in the uh, chief hole in the day business industrial park and that building right there is the airborne manufacturer. They manufacture bomb components. Bomb component parts. Okay, that's one business. And uh, I don't know what street this is, but this is the street that goes east. That is the brand new, not completed yet, Mid-State Education Building where our special needs students for the whole district are going to be taught here and they're going to have a playground area in the back of that school okay now watch over here there are I want to say like 30 some lots still for sale up in that area right there of this park not sold yet they're billed as shovel ready lots and I want to say there's like 30 to 40 of them yet for sale here in the city what you're looking at over here, starting all the way from that street right there, somebody's waving, <laughs> all the way down to that farm is the lot where it's 52 acres that's going to be sold to Barrett Pet Foods Innovation who make extruded dog food and pet food products of all types. They use kangaroo meat, they use fish. They use tur turkey, beef, chicken. They buy, they buy the chicken from Golden Plump. Uh, and they use their the th agricultural products that they grow on their father's farmland, uh, whether it's garbanzo beans or yellow peas or corn or whatever they're using, they use the agricultural products from their own father's farmland. Okay. I made a Facebook Live video of this earlier today. I don't know if it uploaded or if it's going to. But I want to let the public know that this school being downwind, today's wind is from the west, or maybe a tad from the northwest. So it's blowing directly on this building over here. If this plant is positioned anywhere close to this school, it's supposed to be right there across the road from it. And I don't know where the building itself will sit on that site right there. But if ever these folks, if the wind is in the right direction, the stench from that dog food plant is going to come right over here to those special needs kids. Now, every kid in every school district deserves to have their best shake in an education. And folks, this is just poor planning. I'm embarrassed of the people involved in whoever has allowed this, whether it's people from our local school district, the Mid-State Education District, our superintendent, Stephen Jones, our mayor, Greg Zilka, who used to also sit on the school board, our present school board, anybody involved in this, shame on them for allowing this to happen. I don't know how this could possibly... Why are people not doing their homework in this town? I don't get it how things are so poorly planned that it can be this way. So our kids that are the neediest, most vulnerable kids are bordered by a bomb component manufacturing plant and now <laughs> a stinky dog food plant. It's just, it's the most outlandish thing ever. Okay, something you need to know. A couple things. Greg Zilka, the mayor, for full disclosure, yesterday at the EDA meeting on the 24th of June, 2019, stated that, oh, just conveniently, his brother has just been hired at Barrett Pet Foods. Yeah, that brother is John Zilka, who uh, bounces all over the place. He has stated online just today that he worked at the Larson boat manufacturing plant, and he said, you want to talk about a stinky plant, that was it. Well, no kidding, that was stinky. It was also toxic, poisonous chemicals. And those chemicals were spewed all over the place. Anyway, the other thing you need to know, and, and the mayor voted, even though his brother's employed out there, he said, well, as long as he wasn't making any money on the deal, he was able to vote on it. They cleared it with the city attorney. That may be the case. And all of this may be completely legal. 
But folks, I want to tell you, this is not ethical in any way. To put a special needs school next to a dog food plant is the most outrageous, ludicrous, unfair thing I think I've ever heard of. And I've heard of some crazy things this city has done in the past. This has got to be one of the worst. This plant will break ground. Barrett Pet Foods Innovation will break ground in August of this year, and they'll be open and operational in June of 2020, okay? It's going to be way more than they said it was going to be. It's not an $18 million project anymore, like the record reported. It's more, way more than that. The record reported it was going to be a 150,000 square foot plant. No, it's not. Yesterday, Sarah Bar Barrett said herself that it's going to be 160,000 square feet. And she said they can now start cooking beef out here because they had some kind of special license or something. And the jobs aren't going to come all at once either. Yeah, they're going to put on 100 jobs if they don't go belly up before then. 25 jobs here, 25 jobs another year, 25 jobs another year. You know, it's incremental increases. And why is the city and the EDA in the business of buying jobs? I don't get that. I just don't understand that. If we're going to give out EDA grants, it should be completely need-based. In other words, if you're not poor, you don't get to have a welfare handout any more than somebody who's not poor could go up to the county social services here and ask for food stamps today. It's the same thing. It's a beggar's way out of doing business ethically, and if you ask me. And EDA grants don't work in the long run. There's all kinds of projections and reasons why listed online. There's dozens of articles that state emphatically EDA grants don't work. And on top of that, this is Trump area, okay? 73% of all voters in Morrison County voted for Trump, okay? No. They're supposed to be real conservative fiscally, okay? But then, why are they agreeing to give out all of this big welfare money to businesses? Doesn't bother them a bit. Well, because some of their relatives and friends are on the take, of course. <laughs> so, I just wanted you to know some of these things that you may not have known. And um, I'm standing out here in, in the public right away right now, on the edge of the road. So, it's legal for me to stand out here and film this. And once again, I want to urge people to come to the July 1st, 2019 meeting. Please show up Little Falls City Hall in the big chamber room for the work session to voice your opposition to this. This is your last chance, folks, to say no to this project that you publicly object. I spoke to Simone Bowen of the Mid-State Education District on Friday of last week. And she was unaware that this plant food was going to stink or any of this. Because see, what happened was, even though the mayor's known about this for over a year, how this was all going to shake down, and he knew darn well that this deal was going through with Mid-State and the building out here too. Because guess what? That Mid-State building, the parking lot, was permitted in May of 2018. The mayor and our entire council voted unanimously to authorize that parking lot. Okay? I saw I have the document. I saw it yesterday. Okay? Baird hadn't come to the city yet publicly to ask for their money. None of that happened until uh, December of 2018 is when the TIF hearing was for the public. So the school district might not have known anything about this ahead of time, but certainly our mayor did. And if our school board didn't know about this, what's going on? If our superintendent knew about it and didn't tell them, what's going on? How come the school board didn't oppose this? I just don't understand why our special needs kids are falling through the cracks. Just don't get it. And there is a nice bald eagle flying over. I don't know if you can see it. Cool. Pretty soon, he'll be flying over a dog food processing plant out here. All right, thanks for watching. And later today, I'm going to go out and film at the Barrett facility live on the edge of the road there. So you can get a feel for that too. Just wanted everybody to see that. What you're looking at right there is the 52 acres where the Barrett Pet Foods Innovation Processing Plant that uses the extrusion process. Known noise issues, known smell issues. Look up for yourself. Brainer Dispatch, when Amy Klobuchar visited here, there's an article online that says she was asked to wear a white coat 
and the, the smell was pungent outside the building and the noise was deafening. There are articles like that written out there and I just want the public to know. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned.